hello and welcome back um, please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my videos and like and comment as well please don't be a stranger um, I will definitely comment back if you have any suggestions or comments or even complaints um, it's a channel I am new to YouTube and I'm just trying to find my way so um, this is weekend wrap up part two um, I'm talking about shows that I actually viewed and watched and I, I quite enjoy over the weekend so um, these shows come on Sunday on uh, Bravo so please be sure to watch the video before this which is Real Housewives of Atlanta review for um, last Sunday show so let's get back to the topic and the topic of today um, for this weekend wrap up is the new show which is the first family of hip-hop the show is pretty much the plot is based around a family owned business which is a uh, record label and they're the first family of hip-hop we came up with the first hip-hop artist which is Sugar Hill Gang and the, the person who holds the throne of the record label right now is Leland who is the son and the only son left of Miss Robinson who originated the whole entire thing she was a singer who um, developed her own record label signed this hip-hop group first hip-hop group um, and just changed the whole way of music so her son who has six children of his own and it's also wrapped around other family members who are cousins, um, some of his brother's children, and so forth. Everybody trying to either be the greatest artist to bring and bring and put Sugar Hill back on the map, and or find that hot artist. So the show is pretty interesting. This is the second show. Um, I didn't comment or report about the first show. Um, and this is the second show of the season. So hopefully this show does last enough and is getting the proper ratings that it can get in regards to the show. So nobody starts out on their best um, in getting those views, even me. But hopefully as the time progresses, this show will develop and the characters on the show will definitely develop. So the first character is Leland, who is the uh, head of the record label Leland and which makes me think before I go into it this may have been stirred up about since Empire has been doing so well on TV now they get a chance to have a reality show <laughs> but anyway I'm just fishing right now but um, Leland he is the chair of the record label right now he has six children he has a son and a daughter who is the main focus of the show his daughter is Lay uh, Leah Leah L-E-A Leah and she's wanting to pursue uh, a career in actually being a R&B soul singer kind of pop and she's young She's a very attractive girl as well, so um, she doesn't definitely has the looks to be an artist. Now she has a good um, friendship with her cousin, who is Chanel. Chanel actually um, made a small name for herself in the past, rapping on a song, and she's known as Lady. Lady Luck I'm checking my notes Lady Luck and Lady Luck her cousin Chanel and Leah are have this very very close bond and I didn't know until the second show that Lady Luck was actually writing the music for Leah hmm so anyway let's get back to the subject so Leland um, has um, an ex-wife he's the chair of the 
whole record label. He has an ex-wife, which he has most of his children with. And then he has a a girlfriend or ex-girlfriend. I'm not quite sure about their relationship because it doesn't really discuss in the show as of yet. This is only the second show of the season. And this is the first season of the show. And her name is Holly. And Holly um, brought up that she would like to be married to Leland. And he just, you know, like that. Which means he doesn't really take her or possibly having a real relationship with her very seriously. So let's move on. That's Leland. That's his story. That's what he's going through right now. And um, his son Darnell and his girlfriend. So they're the ones who have the drama on the show. So Darnell is the son who's trying to be this up and coming music producer slash manager or whatever you want to call it. And he <laughs> he has an artist that he found on Instagram. And we all know some of the people on Instagram doesn't have a good image. They're known as Instagram hoes, Instagram hoochies, Instagram models, wannabe models, and Instagram home records. So he has the girl from Instagram come over. He's trying to develop her as an artist um, to be her producer slash manager. His girlfriend friend finds out and goes ballistic. Okay, so they get in an argument or whatever the case may be. He ends up missing Leah's, Leah's, I'm going to get this right, birthday party. And um, it's because of the fight he had with his girlfriend. Eventually, he says he's under stress. And I didn't know until the second show that Darnell was um, di- is a diabetic. And he was uh, diagnosed when he was 16. And he ended up getting rushed to the hospital. And he's been in the hospital because his sugar levels were low. And, you know, his family saying, hey, you got to take care of yourself. You got to watch out what you do. You got to watch out what you allow in your life to stress you out and so forth. And you have to just take care of yourself so that you don't be in this situation again. So we don't know. In the show, it seems like him and his girlfriend are a little bit iffy. But we do understand, and I do understand that, you know, relationships aren't perfect. And they they are um, based on working things out and getting to know the person and also compromising. So moving on to Le- Leah and Chanel's relationship. Chanel does a little background of her family. So her mom is actually the cousin of Leland who is the throne of the record label and how she the mom misses uh, I don't think I got her name but the mom of Chanel discuss her history with Leland and his his immediate family and how she worked her butt off and developed Sugar Hill Gang got the regular soul got them to number one and she didn't get anything So Chanel is getting this information from her mom and now she's starting to think that maybe history is repeating itself when it comes to her and Leah. So sure enough, she gets to Leah's whole um, video set and she's on the set of the video and Leah's doing her thing. She has to be, I think Chanel overreacted a little bit. She does have to be a little bit seductive because now a lot of the people who are artists especially the women have to be very seductive and that's to get the attention of men and whoever's going to follow them far as um, fans and she's definitely got to do what she has to do if she wants to be in this business and she wants to be successful Chanel goes berserk and says this is not the direction where I had this song I've written this song and I don't think that Leah should be dressed like this and she should be all about sex and being a sex symbol but that's what's hot right now and she has to produce that product or she's not going to be that celebrity or a star that she wants to be. Chanel you know storms off or whatever and her and Leah 
are starting to split. There's a crack in the relationship now. Um, Leia goes out and get her a manager. And her manager is a manager who manages Ray J and Brandy. I don't mean to be rude, but Brandy and Ray J hasn't really had anything out recently. And they're not really doing so well like they used to when they were children and everybody enjoyed Brandy. I myself did. And Ray J. But they're not doing so well. So I don't think this guy is the manager manager that she wants. Yes, he has some names. He does have names that back him up. But is he someone who can actually produce her into that woman that she needs to be as far as the looks and the talent to seal the deal? Because Beyonce has that, that whole avenue sold up. So anyway. So they're at the table and Chanel saying, hey, I produced the music. I wanted it to be more than I wanted to be more than just a producer because it was my music. Leah saying, hey, I enjoyed the music that we made. I enjoyed you, but I have to begin to look to another step to get higher into the music business. So I brought in the manager who has a name for himself, who has people behind him who are successful. Well, for me, used to be. But I love Ray J, love Brandy. Shout out to them. I enjoy their music still to this day. Um, And so with that, I mean, it sounds pretty good. So Samaya is on the show. And Samaya is actually Chanel's girlfriend. Now, we all know <laughs> Samaya has a past. Samaya used to um, be on Love & Hip Hop New York. So... I know she also pursued a rapping career. So I think for her, she's trying to position herself in a good way. And I definitely want to see what she's up to. Now, she may actually do care and love for Chanel. But her and Chanel has only been dating for a few months. And how convenient is that to be right in the position around a record label you rap your girlfriend is a producer slash rapper she writes music hmm so we definitely have to see what's going to happen next with that and um that's pretty much it so from the looks of that and what i've just heard myself say is is that we definitely have to um keep a lookout on this show it's new it's fresh and it's definitely a little bit interesting. So till then, um, till the next time, I will be back to update you on the next show. As well as the next show of uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. And this is my weekend wrap up. Bye bye.